Hi everyone, from the previous video we were trying to uh, show you exactly how you can uh, use um, JWT based token to authenticate users in your project and this is a this is actually a project with Laravel and AngularJS Actually, you can use JWT off. In the previous video, we were trying to create a seeder. In a seeder, you can use it in Laravel to uh, insert data, massive data, actually in your in your database, in your specific table. So you you do have here your. As you can see here, you can go to the Laravel documentation and obtain more information about how you can create your Cedar file. And there is a lot of there is plenty of information from the from the Laravel documentation. And as soon as you have the Cedar file, as I was showing you from the previous video. Can see we could add more uh, dummy users, but we just need a few ones to just uh, validate and make a few tests with with our uh, token. And the next step you have to do: remember that once you do create it, uh, your key for your JWT file. Number of PHP 18 JWT generate it will generate your key for your file. Now remember that we also install the the dependencies for Angular JS, and if you do not have npm install, remember that you have to. Go to your public folder. I want this code right here. Once you do, once you do, and once you have the dependencies installed, the next step to do is verify that you have the 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 data that we need from your user table. And we will also look for a new file from your Laravel file, from your Laravel project, sorry. Go to Welts, and as you can see, I have, you have to create a group. You can use the prefix group. And also, if you go to, your, to the Laravel documentation, you can see routing and if you go to rel prefixes as you can see here it is you can check the documentation if you have any issues or if you need any help okay once you have the files and add those two two lines that is that that we have here the next step actually is <clears throat> to create a controller and how can we create a controller in Laravel uh, once again we will use the PHP artisan and the way that we can create a controller in, in Laravel as the web from the web, from the web project file directory sorry and one php artisan make controller and the name of the controller is authenticate controller like this Okay, once you do, you just have to run the code. And the, the next step is, once you create the controller, is to locate the file. 
going to locate the file you will go to first to app and then we have the http and controllers and how you and now you can see the, the new file that was created the outing 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 okay control <clears throat> once you do locate the file you can add this new method into your project and also the load the what we'll do the next step to do is to add those dependencies in order to validate and generate the token and right here you can see if the authentication fell what we have is to we have to do is to return message and also with a status in order to your application to know what happened with the authentic with the authentication if the credentials fail so we have to return this message right here an error message invalid credentials and also if something goes wrong in this case we we'll generate this message right here an error message with this message and this status 500 status and if everything goes well we will return the token that we will save in, your, in our application for example in a mobile application or a single page application we will grab the token and use like um, storage local storage to grab the token and save it and you're ready to go now we will test our our authentication as you can see right here I have my I have my details this is my table of users you can see sorry this is my table of users and you can also use postman to validate and check and say for example remember that once you warn remember to warn so to see and check the level application you have to use php artisan serve say one your project the Laravel project and this is the url that i have for my project remember that we uses prefixes for example let's check it or go to world and remember that we have prefixes in my case i usually use uh, B1. So you can see, uh, you can use whatever you like. Okay. okay. To check our API, what we'll do is remember that we have a method called authenticate. So we will point to our to this method and in this method remember that we are we are waiting for two variables which are and with postman what we'll do is check now remember my password is one until six yes it's gonna fail actually and now if I hmm, here it is, I have my token, see you, thank you.